Hello and welcome to Storytime. I'm Mr. Reed. Now today's story is a very special story called Sammy the Salmon. And as you might have guessed, it's about a salmon called Sammy. Very smart. And the book is available on Amazon, but also if you check out the wonderful website SammySalmon.com, you'll get all the information and other pictures and the backstory on the story and uh, well worth checking out. So all the information in the description below. The book is beautifully illustrated, as you will find out, by Linda Farrington Wilson. But it's also very special because it was actually written by a real-life superhero. Oh, yes, indeed. And her name is Deborah Klein. Now, apart from being a superhero and writing a lovely book, Deborah is also the mother to a superhero. Yes, and his name is Sam. Now, Sam was born prematurely at 26 weeks old. He just couldn't wait to get here. And he weighed just one pound and 13 ounces. So he spent the first three months of his life in an intensive care unit. And this is where the superhero bit came in. Because he was so brave and so strong that he's now out in the big bad world as a big, fine, strapping young man of 13 years of age. So this book is dedicated to Sam and to his bravery and to Deborah's beautiful princess daughter, Emily, and to the parents of premature babies all over the world and indeed to the premature babies themselves, for being so brave. So, the story goes as follows. Sammy the Salmon was the smallest fish anyone had ever seen. He was so little, he was only the size of a lima bean. You see, Sammy was born early. Premature is what they say. To a mommy and daddy salmon that had so welcomed this day. To care for and love Sammy back to health, they kept him in the hospital for fish. His mommy and daddy finally brought him home and got their greatest wish. He was so tiny. Everyone was scared. Would we hug him too tight? Give him too much food? Drop him? But everything turned out fine and put a rest to all their fears. He was getting so big and strong. He really started to grow. His mommy and daddy were ready to take him out of the house to meet all the other fish and put on a show. And the big day came when Sammy could go out to meet the world and learn to swim. But what if he got hurt or broke a fin? His parents were so nervous for him. Sammy was ready to see the sights. They opened the door and Sammy swam out. He was ready to be free, to swim, do flips and give everyone a shout. Woohoo! Swimming was so much fun. Why hadn't they let me swim before? Why were mom and dad so protective of me? They wouldn't even let me go out the door. I love my mummy and daddy so. I know they love me so much too. Being born so tiny was hard on all of us. I never wanted them to feel blue. But I needed to learn and explore new things. To be brave and just get out. I want to swim around the river and find out what this big world is all about. I am big and strong now. <laughs> Not like before. My mummy and daddy can rest. I'm going to be just fine. I know because they always tell me I'm the best. Sammy the Salmon grew up to be the absolute biggest salmon anyone had ever seen. He was sweet, smart, handsome and lean. I guess the old saying, the best things come in small packages is true. Because we got the best thing the day you were born. Our wonderful, precious you. Ah, ah. What a lovely story and what a lovely message. So, for all the parents of premature babies and for Sam and for all your incredible bravery, that story is dedicated to you. Available on Amazon and, of course, the wonderful website sammysalmon.com. So do please check it out. Now, if you yourself have written a story about a salmon or a, or a trout or a giraffe or a donkey, a monkey, a dolphin, a unicorn... Um, piece of chewing gum, a smelly sock, or your smelly brother, anything at all, I would love to read it. So, the address, as always, is mystery.storytime at gmail.com. So until the next time, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs>